Hi, Elizabeth here. Today I'm inspired to answer a question that I get asked a lot, and that is what is my personal workout schedule? Um, and that is a very interesting question because it's my personal workout schedule is very different than it was, than it uh, would have been, say, 10 years ago, uh, because I've learned a different approach uh, to the way I approach my workouts. And now I see that my workouts aren't just about checking something off a list, but it's my time really for me to nourish my body and to give it what it needs. So before I might have been doing harder workouts just because I felt like I really needed to break a sweat or achieve some kind of a weight on a, a number on a scale. But rather now I'm noticing that I want to have my workouts uh, give me energy and um, also calm my mind and make me uh, feel more focused and really more alive and to appreciate my body and to be able to appreciate my life. So the approach I take now is a more cyclical approach where I follow my menstrual cycle. And it's actually really just me following how I feel. But because I'm menstruating, I notice that the time around my when I'm bleeding is the time when I have the least amount of energy. So that's the time where I'll do more restorative practices like use a foam roller or do some somatic movement um, where I'm just rolling around on the floor and uh, just releasing tension in my body. And then on other times of the month, uh, depending on how I feel, I'll do different things like I'll use the Pilates equipment. Uh, maybe there'll be more challenging practices with more faster pace when I'm on, um, when I'm around my ovulation time, that's the time of when I, uh, there's, I usually have a lot of energy, uh, a, lot, a lot of energy to give, to, to spend. And um, so I use this approach um, to how I take care of myself, not just um, my, my cycle or, or how, I, how I work out. And this is something that's really changed um, the way I feel and the way I'm able to uh, relate with the world because I don't feel pressure to have to always perform regardless of how my body's feeling. So this is a different approach. Um, I still will work out. Uh, I mean, I don't really even like to call it workout. I think I think of it more as uh, having a movement practice. Um, I try to do that a movement practice when I can probably at least five times a week and then the other things I do are just really walk and um, bike usually bike my kids around to school and, and to where they go so that's really my my um, my movement practice but if you are interested in learning more about cyclical living or or uh, noticing um, your cycle of energy, your personal energy cycle, and being able to apply that to how you live your life, I definitely would encourage it. And I actually have a new video series that is called Moving With Your Seasons. And it is a video series that is four separate short practices that you can use along with your how you're feeling uh, during the different types uh, times of the month. Um, and it's, I use the metaphor of the four seasons because uh, we can really tell how different the seasons are from fall, summer, winter, and spring. We can see that outwardly because we can sense the changes in temperature, the longer days or uh, the longer nights, the leaves dropping from the uh, trees as the trees shed what they lo no longer need. And so these are also four seasons of how we can have different levels of energy over the time of the month if you're menstruating and maybe during the, the phases of the moon if you're not menstruating. So summer being a time of outward energy where we're outside, we're doing, we're really social. Um, it corresponds with uh, the menstrual cycle of the ovulation time, it uh, corresponds with the phase of the moon 
of uh, the full moon. And then after that, we go into uh, fall or autumn, and that corresponds with your premenstrual stage. If you are menstruating when you, it's associated with PMS or, or when you just start to kind of say no to the world because you have a little bit more tension in your body and uh, you just uh, don't have the energy that you had during the summer to give, 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 and you need to start to replenish yourself. It also corresponds with the phase of the moon of the waning moon. And then there's the new moon or the dark moon phase, which would be associated to when you're bleeding, but your bleeding time. And that's really about rest and restoring um, the body. Uh, think about, you know, uh, and it's associated with winter. Like you just want to be cozy, you don't move as much, you're uh, inside and it's a time to just uh, take stock and let your body replenish because the next season is spring. And the spring is when we start to experience a little bit more upward energy, um, planting of the seeds uh, that we want to create in our life. It's a good time for planning. And um, it also corresponds with the waxing moon phase of the lunar cycle. So that is a quick kind of description of a way that I use to uh, connect to myself, uh, my authentic energy levels, uh, my cyclical nature as a woman, and also to, um, as a, a, a human being living on this planet, planet, on the planet Earth, that's always changing and um, fluctuating, and it makes me feel more connected not only to myself in a, in a real way, but also connected to my environment and the world around me. So it helps me uh, be able to lean into how I really feel into instead of looking around outside me and um, just doing what is expected of me from society or from my family or from just the pace of modern life that is not doesn't it's not really my pace I don't I don't want to be going 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 all the time and pushing through that doesn't uh, feed my soul it doesn't help my body so this is a more uh, authentic way to live and feel and so if you're interested I created that video series and I will put the um, link in in the comment section and I also just created uh, a short practice um, to give you a sense of what a restorative winter time practice would be um, for your moon time or for the new moon time and so I hope that you enjoy that. Okay, thank you. Bye.